Goblin launch detected. Uh-oh. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. With free weekly content and free shipping over $100, you can save 5% site-wide by using the promo code MTGMUDSTA. I'm also sponsored by Face to Face Games, Canada's premier Magic the Gathering store. Using the promo code MTGMUDSTA will get you 5% off site-wide, with eligible orders getting free shipping Canada-wide. If you're looking for a direct way to help the channel, please consider joining my Patreon and becoming a member of the generic Goblin Gang. Hey gang, and welcome back. Today's game was filmed in my studio, and we recorded the opening hands after a lot of people were requesting it. I am playing the Diata Precon, keeping Alesha who smiles at death, Smoldering Marsh, Mountain, Gerard's Hourglass Pendant, Dragon Skull Summit, Mobilize District, and Garner the Blood Flame. Marie is playing her Ayara deck, keeping Skullclamp, Nykthos, Swamp, Midnight Reaper, Knight's Whisper, Reassembling Skeleton, and Exquisite Blood. Fidlix is playing his Falco deck again, keeping Marari's Wake, Rishkar, Pima Renegade, Evolutionary Sage, Plains, Temple Garden, Exotic Orchard, and Reliquary Tower. Maxim is playing his newly made Angelo, keeping Terramorphic Expanse, Luxury Suite, Graven Cairns, Sunken Hollow, Demir's Signet, and Surreal Memory. I win the die roll and start us off. I draw and play a Tap Smoldering Marsh. Marie plays a Nykthos for turn and casts Skullclamp. Felix draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. Maxim plays a Terramorphic Expanse, sacrificing it for a Mountain before passing. I have a Mountain for turn as well, and cast Arcane Signet. Marie plays a Swamp and pays 2 for Knight's Whisper, drawing 2 and losing 2. She passes after that. Felix just plays a Temple Garden tapped and passes. Max draws, plays an Island, and pays 2 for Demir Signet. I've got a Mountain for turn and then Castiata, down taking her once she resolves to reveal Hazard's Monument, Gyreach Sanitarium, Captain Lannery Storm, and Read the Bones, putting the Hazard's Monument and Sanitarium into hand, and putting the other two into the graveyard and getting two treasures. Marie draws and plays a Reassembling Skeleton. Felix has a Plains for turn and casts Evolution Sage. Max draws and plays a Luxury Suite. He casts an Hello, and then a Cult Conscript and passes. I draw and play Dragon Skull Summit. I then cast the Hazard's Monument, following up with Alesha and getting a Rummage Trigger from the Monument. I then uptick Tiana, giving Alesha Vigilance, Lifelink, and Indestructible. I pass after that. Marie draws and plays a Swamp. She pays 3 mana for a Midnight Reaper, passing. Felix draws and casts Rishkar, putting a counter onto his two creatures, and then plays a Plains and proliferates them. Going to combat, the Evolution Sage goes at Marie, dealing 5, and he passes after that. Max has a Sunken Hollow, and then casts Divination and sacrifices the Cult Conscript to copy it with Casualty, drawing a total of 4. Max then casts a Talisman of Indulgence, and passes. I play a Shizo Death Storehouse, and cast a Ketra's Monument. I then downtick Diata, and reveal no legendaries, but still get 4 treasures. Going to combat, I swing a Lesha at Max, and pay the 2 to get Captain Lannery Storm back onto the battlefield, tapped, and also attacking Max. Max just takes the hit, and I pass after that. Marie draws and plays an Entombment or Main Phase, going into her library to grab Braids, a Risen Nightmare, and put it into the graveyard. She then plays a Tap Mortuary Mire, putting it on top of her deck, and then clamps the Reassembling Skeleton, drawing two from the Skull Clamp and one from the Reaper, and loses one life. She passes after that. Felix plays his Commander in his Main Phase, Falco Spara, and casts a Reliquary Tower, which allows him to proliferate his team. He then taps Rishkar and removes a counter from him to play Hardened Scales from the top of his library, and passes after that. 
Max draws and plays a command tower. He plays a Dire Fleet Hoarder and then a Twinning Staff and casts a Lightning Bolt. He gets to sacrifice the Hoarder thanks to Angelo and gets three copies of Lightning Bolt, sending two at the Sage and one at Alesha. The two creatures die, and after that, Max brings back his Cult Conscript, and during his end step, I flash out Garna, bringing Alesha back to my hand. I play Terramorphic Expanse, cracking it for a Plains, and then uptick Diata on Captain Lannery. I then move to combat, swinging Lannery at Felix and Garna at Marie. Felix blocks Lannery with Falco and prevents the damage by removing a shield counter, while Marie just takes the hit for 3. Marie draws and plays a Swamp. She casts a Yara, draining everyone for 1 as she comes in, and then brings back the reassembling skeleton, draining everyone again for 1. She passes after that. Felix plays an Alchemist Refuge, and then plays Broker's Ascendancy, and goes to his end step. This lets him put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters onto all of his creatures thanks to the Ascendancy and Hardened Scales. Max plays a Graven Cairns, and then casts Anticipate, sacrificing the Cult Conscript and making two copies of it. He gets to keep one card from his top three three times, and passes after that. I play a Reliquary Tower and cast Faithless Looting. I then recast Alesha, and down to Diata, milling my top four and keeping Bantu's Monument, and bending the three for three treasures. Going to combat, I swing Alesha at Max, and bring back Bell Borka, which is also attacking Max, but it's got zero power. Max eats Borka with his death touching a hello, and takes three from Alesha. With all that, I pass. Marie activates Nykthos in her main phase, floating five black mana, and then plays a Lake of the Dead. She then casts an Exquisite Blood, but Felix responds by casting Swords to Plowshares and targets Ayara. Marie's commander gets exiled, Marie then casts Braids and moves to her end step, sacrificing the reassembling skeleton to the Braid's trigger. This has me sacrifice a warrior token, while everyone else takes two and lets her draw a card, and then an extra one from the Midnight Reaper. Felix draws and plays a Plains, and he then removes a counter to cast the Trinket Mage off the top, going to find a Sensei's Divining Top to put to hand, and then casts it. Felix then activates his top, and reorders his top three, and passes. Max plays an Island, and then casts Bonus Round and plays a Ponder, getting two copies. This has Felix responding by casting Generous Gift, which gets copied from Bonus Round, and he destroys the Exquisite Blood and Twinning Staff. Max still gets his three Ponders though, and once those are done, follows up with a Flawless Forgery, targeting Unearth and Swords to Plowshares. These spells copy as well, and Unearth brings back the Cult Conscript and Dire Fleet Hoarder, while Swords to Plowshares exiles Rishkar and Braids. With all of his copies done, Max then passes turn. I draw and play Bajuka Bog, exiling Max's graveyard. I then replay Diata and Down Ticker, keeping a Tally and Bladewing Deathless Tyrant, and making two treasures from the other two cards that go to my graveyard. I then use some treasures to cast a Tally, rummaging, and making a warrior for my monument. I swing a tally at Max because of Garnet giving it haste, and a lesh at Marie. The tally flips two lands, sign in blood, and path to exile. I decide to cast both spells, and use the path on the cult conscript, and then draw two, and lose two from the sign in blood. Max then takes three, and Marie loses six. Marie draws and plays a swamp. She brings back the reassembling skeleton, and then floats some black mana off a swamp before sacrificing it to Lake of the Dead for four black mana. She then casts Shouldred, the Apocalypse, and equips the skeleton with a skull clamp, drawing three, losing one, but gaining six life. She then follows up with Tragic Slip and targets Falco and takes him out. Felix draws and loses two from Shouldred, and then plays Gabony Township and recasts Falco. He then activates the top to draw, losing two, and then recasts it by removing a counter from Trinket Mage and casts it off the top. Moving to his end step, Felix's creatures once more get a two plus one plus one counters, and he passes after that. Max draws, losing two, and plays a mountain. He casts Talarand, 
and then uses River's Rebuke, sacrificing the Dire Fleet Hoarder to copy it. He targets Felix and I, and we both effectively get Cyclonic Rifted. I sacrifice my treasures in response, and before Max moves a phase, I recast Garna, and Max passes. I draw, losing two from Shouldred, and then recast Diata. I down tick her once more, keeping the Reaver Cleaver, and bidding three, and making three treasures. I then recast a tally and go to combat. I swing a tally at Felix for six, and this time flip into three lands and Tajik, Blade of the Legion. I cast Tajik, and Felix takes the hit. I pass after that. Marie draws and gains her two life. She then plays a Crypt of Agadim and floats a black from a swamp before sacrificing it to Lake of the Dead. She's got enough to recast Ayara at this point, draining everyone for one as it comes in. Marie then brings back the reassembling skeleton, draining everyone for one again, before going to combat. She goes at Felix with everything she can, dealing 7, and passing. Felix draws, and loses 2. He casts Mirari's Wake, and then a Felwar Stone, and then a Trinket Mage. The Trinket Mage grabs him the Esper Sentinel, and Felix then plays the Esper Sentinel, and is top again, and passes. Max draws and loses 2. He plays a Myriad Landscape, and then casts Exsanguinate, sacrificing a Drake to copy it. Max doesn't pay for the Esper Sentinel though, and Felix draws a card and loses 2. Max has put 7 into the X on the Exsanguinate, and in response to his own spell, flashes in Dualcaster Mage to make another copy. This drains us all for a total of 21, while Max gains 63. He passes after that. I draw, and lose 2. I play a Swamp, and cast the Reaver Cleaver, not paying the 1 to Felix's Sentinel, so he's forced to draw, and subsequently dies. I then equip the Cleaver to Tajik, and go to combat. I swing everything at Max, and with that, the Itali triggers, and Tajik gets plus 5 plus 5 off his own trigger. This has me flipping into Kaya's Wrath, Zulaport Cutthroat, and Bedevil. I cast the Cutthroat, and then use the Bedevil on the Skull Clamp, and then cast Kaya's Wrath, gaining 6 and dealing 3 to everyone from the Zulaport Cutthroat triggers. Marie responds to the board wipe with a Malakir Rebirth targeting Ayara, and brings her back, losing 2, but drains everyone for 1. She also draws 3, and loses 3 from the Midnight Reaper, but gains 6 from Shieldred. The rest of the combat then resolves, with Max taking 8, and I make 8 treasures. I follow up by casting an Arcane Signet, and a Bantu Monument. And then uptick Diata post-combat, because I forgot to. I pass after that. Marie draws, and plays a Swamp. She then floats a mana from the Swamp, and once more sacrifices it to Lake of the Dead. To help bring back the Reassembling Skeleton, drain the table for one. She then victimizes the Skeleton to bring back Shouldred and the Zulbor Cutthroat, draining the table for two more. Marie then activates Nykthos for more mana, and plays Read the Bones, Scrying 2, Drawing 2, and Losing 2. She then plays a Bitter Blossom, and follows up with Killing the Weak on the Zulaport Cutthroat, draining the table for 1, and making 4 black mana. She uses that to help cast Witch of the Moors, and going to combat, hits my commander for 2 with Ayara. With that, Marie moves to her end step, and triggers the Witch of the Moors, which has me sacrificing Tajik, and she brings back the Zulapur Cutthroat to hand. Max draws and loses 2. He then plays Drawn from the Dreams to look at his top 7, keeping his best 2. After that, he passes, holding up some mana. I draw and lose 2, and cast a Bladewing Deathless Tyrant in my main phase, I then equip it with the Reaver Cleaver. I uptick Diata to give it Vigilance, Lifelink, and Indestructible, and swing it at Marie for 7. She takes the full hit, and I make 7 treasures, as well as 8 zombie tokens, and gain 7 life. I then play Temple of Triumph, and pass. Marie drains us each for 1 as a fairy from the Bitter Blossom comes in, and she draws, gaining 2. She then activates Nykthos to cast Forever Young, and puts the Midnight Reaper on top, and then draws it, gaining another 2. Marie then replays the Midnight Reaper, draining us for 1 again and then brings back the Reassembling Skeleton again, draining us for another one. 
Following that, she casts Toxic Deluge and pays two life into it, and sacrifices the fairy to Yara in response. This draws her a total of three cards, and loses two, but gains her six. The board wipe then resolves. Moving to combat, she swings her slightly shrunken witch at Diata for two. And moving to her end step, makes me sacrifice Bladewing and brings back her Midnight Reaper to hand. Max decides to crack his myriad landscape, and then casts a Mystic Confluence, choosing the mode to draw three, and loses six. Max draws her turn and loses two and plays a Smoldering Marsh. He then recasts Angelo and plays a Blood Soaked Champion. Max follows up with a Surreal Memoir and sacrifices the champion to copy it. He brings back Bedevil and Mystic Confluence as there is only two instants and passes. My turn has me drawing and losing two. I then uptick Diata for loyalty and pass after that. Marie makes a fairy token and drains us, then draws and gains two. She plays a swamp and recasts the Zulaport Cutthroat, draining us for one again. Once that's done, she reactivates the Nykthos for nine black mana, and uses three of it for Ashnod's altar. She then taps a swamp and sacrifices it to Lake of the Dead, and replays the Midnight Reaper, and then casts Rise of the Dark Realms. Six black creatures enter from this and drain us for six, and since Garn is about, and since Garn is now on her side of the field, she's got haste. She swings the team at max for lethal, and then sacrifices a few creatures at the end of turn to drain me for the win. Game review time. That was a spicy one, and I'm continually impressed with how well the Diata Binder of Wills deck is, even as a pre-con. I'm strongly considering using her as opposed to Timnan Vile Smasher because I want to fill up my graveyard and ramp, and she does both of those things. And Hello the Painter was also an interesting C, and although I knew Casualty was a mechanic, I'd never actually seen too much of it in action. So it's kind of cool to see a commander who gives all of your spells it, and Max did a pretty good job of running ways of recurring creatures, and being able to abuse those creatures to get extra copies of spells. Marie's Ayara deck was pretty draining, and considering her opening hand, it seemed like she was going to be off to a slow start. I'm also surprised with how many swamps that she sacrificed that she had as much mana as she did, but I guess Nykthos really helped round her out. This was the second time that we saw Falco Spar in action, and unfortunately it didn't do a whole heck of a lot again. I think Felix for the most part was playing on the defensive, and it seemed like every time he got his Sensei's Divining Top, which would work well with Falco, he was unfortunately spinning into things that he couldn't actually use or cast. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Multizone, Original Magic Art, and Alter Sleeves. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.